no, no, how I'm, I'm already starting fucking it. Fucking rude. I'm starting. The amount of times that you rude. and Chaz, you and Chaz, like, make me immediately start the next episode as I'm doing my show notes because you say something funny or stupid. Uh huh. There I am, and we're, we, I, I have to record. Uh huh. Uh, so, hey everybody, we're back. Wow, it's it's us. This is probably our last recording session. This is a new recording session. Mm-hmm. They can they can tell Tony. They hear they hear the ochre on our voices. They they he, they hear the the sage rosemary and thyme. Wait, parsley sage rosemary and thyme. What? Um, remember me, the one who was there. What? I guess we do have money. I think we can buy. A few things. Well, well uh, I feel well. I guess it. It, it depends. It's, it's it's not gonna do anything at this point, though. Uh, what are the what are the assorted cartridges? Assorted cartridges. Uh huh. They're GameStop collector wants, but they're still nice for displaying. Awesome. We're gonna get that. Oh, We're gonna fuck. get a PC ninety. No, no, no. I don't want him to get the paper lantern or the tea. Well, you. Sh you you. As I always say, whoopsies. Aww. Classic Tony Trump. We got. Hey, look, there's the PC. The pot. The plants on it now. Yep. I, th I guess that. Well, that's the game console. But where's the assorted cartridges? Um, they're they're being displayed somewhere. Displayed somewhere. Yep. I, is that is is this a riddle? No, I'm. Oh, okay. It's just true. Oh, well, ah, fair enough. Is that a mini fridge? Asshole, yes. It must be. Or a safe. Um, oh, no, no, see, it's December yeah, 31st. It's the newest, the new, the new year. Oh, wait, that is how New Year's works. That is how New Year's works, Tony, yes. Okay, now, now do that thing that we do, uh, which someone pointed out once. <laughs> yeah, where we, we make noises for ellipses. Aww. Well, let's see. <laughs> Gil is in the back getting everything ready. <laughs> I'll go grab some food I've ordered. They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Aww. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute. Oh yeah, we've got this serious <laughs> bullshit to deal right. with. Right, I know we're making yucks and all, but the, the plot's <laughs> actually gonna come together. <laughs> yeah. Relax, everything will be all right. I can assure you of that. <laughs> Drink something, maybe that will cheer you up. <laughs> maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you, <laughs> I don't know, a hug. Does that work? Uh. A hug? A big one. A reward for after everything's said and done. Mm. Gotta go. <laughs> you can do it. R right. <sighs> everything's <laughs> fine. You've been avoiding this for all these years. Now it's time to face it head on. Jill's massive crush on Dana? No. Oh, oh, right, right, right. The, the sibling. Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. <laughs> I'm okay. Wow, Jill's breaking apart the seams. Um, hello? Gabby. Wow, is Gabby gonna like Walking Dead season one style tell us all the ways that we fucked up or didn't fucked up with all the characters that oh, we served over the course of the game? Shit, maybe. Damn, all right, let's find out. Uh... Mm, uh, c come in. Excuse me. Welcome to Valha. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, you talk first. Yes, me. No, I. Well. Oh. Uh, some days ago, I got a letter. And even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. A what? My sister sent you a letter? That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now, envelope opening noise. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Uh... 
Yeah. Let's do it. Let's read it. All right, then. Uh. Sorry. Uh. Just, just that? Yup. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? This is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter, a fucking letter of all things. And she just says, sorry? <laughs> sorry for what? <laughs> for our fight? For not talking all these years? <sighs> ah, now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> I remember all the, all the time I remembered all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labeled one, two, and four during Valentine's Day. And you were pissed about the lack of a three. Or that time when you left an unopened beer bottle on the table, she sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did it, and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me like the back of her hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that, I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? You told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more... focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day. But organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently, she suffered that what since she was 18, but kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Hell if I know. I was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? <sighs> mm. Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. <laughs> wow, like straight up Metal Gear Solid style. Fuck. <laughs> Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark? And the rejection was what ended up killing her? The nanomachine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. Doctors said she might have missed a shot, or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure. Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Eh? <laughs> this is the first time she's heard of that. This it, uh, that was that was a big turn turnabout. <laughs> I spent so much time hammering myself with what ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I had given a chance to the research institute thing back then? And the amount just increased threefold after I lashed out at you the other day. But today, I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive, you're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can apologize to you right now. Okay, Jill, you're somehow making what was... I thought this wasn't going to be smooth, but it's becoming more smooth. Mm. Jill. Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's just resting after having that heart condition all these years. 
She didn't have to face it alone, though. If she only... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we are to honor her, we'll do it together. Together? Lenore was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. Mm. I need to ask, though. Did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? N no. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me wanted to put the blame on... someone or something. And you didn't deserve that. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know? We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shouted at you either, so... Let's just call all that water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So, how did you find me, exactly? Uh, eh? <laughs> um, well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? <laughs> I have, yeah. Well, truth is uh, that I visit it from time to time. And the other day, I read a thread that discussed the bar. Oh yeah, that bar, that thread. Mm -hmm. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. Uh. Are you mad? No, not mad. More like dumbfounded. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Jill, can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well, hmm. Back then, I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Wow, this is hitting home a little bit. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. And then after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future and she started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. But the thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her, but I don't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her, and that was partly because she was so pushy. Even if she had the best intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What would have stopped her once we'd gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking it was be the best for me. But what about my freedom? My say on the matter? So what? So that's where you stopped loving Lenore? No, no, no. I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand. I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just out of routine. Getting used to it. Uh-oh. I wanted a break from everything for a while to put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself. Think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I've sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So that's what led you to fighting, huh? Heh. <sighs> you know, the word fight makes it sound like we exchange blows or something. It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. 
Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Huh? I told you she mentioned... Uh, uh, I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Nice. Should have listened to her to the end, but instead I kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. Ooh. It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself so much into her. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> we are quite the hotheads. You, me, my sis. You were supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us, too? No, it's just that... Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? But my sister wouldn't have scolded you. But I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But I faced her back then, and I was like, seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's... Not quite the same. Which is why I made that analogy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in perspective, no matter what reason I come up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes things easier. I won't ever get to speak to her ever again, and it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear, you, me, and my sis were meant for one another. You both moved, uh, moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. <sighs> and like I said, braiding myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss her so much, though. We were together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person. Eh? <laughs> Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. With the change in music. Yeah. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all the time. The same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So, let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A... Uh, a drink? Uh, don't worry, trust me. Uh, let's... Sh 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 you should know. <laughs>